this is going to be a short tutorial on how to segment images using contouring or the level set approach prerequisite of this tutorial are GIMP and a plugin called gimmick QT. so this filters and gimmick QT should be installed you can go to the gimmick QT website and download and install it it's fairly easy to do so or skip it now let's say we have this image and we want to segment multi out of this what we're going to do is go to filters gimmick QT, and then wait for the filters to load here is our preview window go to contours and then extract foreground interactive now here is a list of controls you, you can read it now press apply now we are going to define contours for our image to do that what we're going to do is for left click by left click we are going to tell the program that this point is inside the object we want to segment so this green point is inside body's body i'm gonna surround him with green points on the inside right you don't have to do this many points since i am doing it for the video so i just want it to be accurate now is also a part of body we don't need that many points let's do this yep now we also need to tell the points that are outside multi so by we can do that by right click here we're just defining a general contour around multi multi's body now here here, here. just like random points around our subject if you're satisfied with this just hit enter and uh, yeah so our control is great but not that great right mm -hmm. so let's edit it again because you can see this extra part is also added with our segmentation go to apply again and we want this to be removed right click this is not part of modi yep another thing is that we are segmenting it here as well just and it's going to be left click here yeah pretty much right and then hit enter again maybe yep this looks good this looks good but not that great so just hit apply again and we focus here what about this part this is clearly outside him right it's just sort of telling the algorithm what is good and what's not so yeah that's that's about it and press ok and we can see the layers here so what we're going to do is right click apply selection and then hide it 